Hi, everybody. I'm Arthur. Today's book is Good Night, Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle, illustrated by Jill McElmurray. Bumpity-bump, down the road came Little Blue Truck with good friend Toad. Thunder crashing, lightning flashing, two good friends were homeward dashing. Such a wet and stormy night, their warm garage was a welcome sight. In they went and shut the door, but it wasn't very long before. Ma, said Goat, please, Little Blue, can I come in here with Toad and you? Cluck, said Hen, it's wet outside. I need a safe place to hide. Honk, said Goose, don't care for lightning. Stormy nights are a little bit frightening. Moo, said Cow, can I come in too? I feel safer here with you. Quack, said Duck, there's quite a crowd. Can I squeeze in? Are ducks allowed? Oink, said Pig, is there room for me? I'm cold and wet as I can be. Beep, 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 said Little Blue. There's room for you and you and you. Everybody gather round. Thunder's such a grumbly sound. Clouds bump and tumble in the sky, but here inside we're warm and dry, and all the thirsty plants below will get a drink to help them grow. Close to blue, over and under, they listened to the rain and thunder. Duck said loud as he could quack, Thunder's just a noisy racket. Boom, said Goat, it isn't scary. I was not afraid, not very. Just a noise, said Pig. No wonder I'm not scared of a little thunder. After a while, the clouds blew on. The night was still. The storm was gone. Goat said, we feel better, Blue. It's easy to be brave with you. Pig said, I feel sleepy now. Let's all head home, said Cow. Beep, said Blue, just hop inside. All aboard for a bedtime ride. The rain had stopped, and way up high, the moon was a smile in a starry sky. Good night, Pig. Here's your pen. Good night, Duck. Good night, hen. Good night, goat. You're home now. Good night, goose. Good night, cow. Horn went beat, engine purred, friendliest sound you've ever heard. Blue and Toad drove home together, two good friends in any weather. Toad lay down in his own small bed. Croak, good night, little Blue, he said. Blue gave one small sleepy beep. Then Little Blue Truck fell fast asleep. Beep! Beep! Sleep! Thanks for reading. Come back again for another great book. See you next time.